You guys enter the stars. And what I'm going to share with you today may be a little troubling for some, but I woke up this morning with the impression of truth by the Holy Spirit to share this with you. And as many of you know, I have a graphic communication degree. It's a bachelor of science degree. And all we did was learn about color theory, CMYK and RGB. Now, what does that mean? CMYK is the dimension of paper. And when you actually take cyan, magenta, yellow, and black layers of ink and place them on a paper and then shine light through it, what is reflected back at you is the perception of color. And all that is based on light. But what is also based on light is the RGB model, and that is used for monitors and televisions. And when you actually shine a light through a phosphorus tube and project it onto crystal, you then have all the colors of the spectrum that we see as an image in our monitors and screens and televisions. Now what was impressed upon me by the Holy Spirit was the history of divination in crystal balls and that's what you're seeing on your screen. And even the brief time that we're going to look at this is making me uncomfortable because what has been impressed upon me by the Holy Spirit is that a crystal ball is in fact a monitor. Now stay with me on this and I have no idea any other people that have covered this at this point and this may have been covered but I'm going to give you some scientific evidence to show you that the Bible does in fact say that Lucifer will transform himself into an angel of light. We're going to talk about phosphorus. We're going to talk about crystals and liquid crystal display that synchronizes with the crystal ball. And how it is that Satan uses fiber optics and light to deceive us. Okay. Now if we look at the science of a monitor um and the colors we can see here that they're able to obtain all the colors of the spectrum many of us remember this from the classic television sets of the 70s 80s and 90s it would show us the color spectrum now if you red blue and green this is the how the science works it comes through these five elements and is projected onto a screen See, so they can achieve all the colors of the spectrum, okay? They can basically create an image, and that's what we see, and it looks real. Here's the phosphorus screen, okay? These get excited as they're, as they're excited by the light beam that comes through. This is the old technology of a monitor. This is a monitor, and sideways, this is a crystal ball. Now, what is phosphorus? Let's take a look at phosphorus. Phosphorus is an element that actually glows green. And it is self-described as the light bearer, Lucifer. Where have you heard that term before? Right from the Bible. Morning star, the planet Venus, phosphorescence. And in fact, phosphorus does glow green. That is the serpent color. Okay, is this all starting to come together for you? So let's take a look at the history of television and some of the major players upon the invention of television. Here is a German technician, Paul Gottlieb Nipkow, and he invented the Nipkow disc, and here's a picture of it here. Now he says the idea came to him while he was sitting alone at home with an oil lamp on Christmas Eve 1883. Christmas is Satan's birthday. The sun god is birthday. If you are unsure about this, please go back and look at my videos. Soul Invictus or Merry Christmas. And I'll explain to you the birthday of Christmas, not being Jesus, but that being that of the sun god Apollo and Soul Invictus. 
This is how they replace our faith and belief in Jesus Christ with counterfeits. So, in fact, here we have our first indication that possibly um, this could have been something that was inspired by Satan himself. They talk about the infant BBC television service working with Baird's mechanical system. BBC alphanumerically is 223. It's 322 backwards. Talked about that on this channel as well. Let's look at the cathode ray tube. Did some coverage on this in this video here. This goes into more detail about how in fact this works and the history of it. We just saw the monitor and I pet goat. We had English physicists. English, German, these are all the elites of the tribe of Dan responsible for bringing us the television set in the 1880s and 90s coated with phosphorus okay fallen angel technology possibly here's our figure 8 here oscilloscope CRTs and he goes on to talk about some of the technology Boris Rosing, another key player, died one day before the Queen was born, 1933. She was born on April 21st. This guy was Dutch, again, the elites of the tribe of Dan. Talked about Dutch, German, English. All these were leaped forth from Bashan in the Bible. Okay, These people cannot help themselves. They leave their mark wherever they go through numbers, through dates, through events. We had John Logie Baird, another key player. This guy was born in 1888, in August. 814-888. Another indication, he was Scottish. Again, elites of the tribe of Dan. First mechanical television. Color. He ranked 44 in the BBC's list of 100 greatest Brightons. Hmm. 44 is half of 88. He's listed in the Scottish Science Hall of Fame. He was born at 8 a.m. 8, 14, 8, 8, 8, 8. Okay, why would they mention that? Because it's part of their magic. Okay. Now, remember, you're probably thinking, why should I even turn on my television set? And many of us are at that point now where we have turned our television sets off. But we know that Moses, her staff, and it became a serpent. And this is how he battled the magic of Pharaoh's magicians. And I'm not saying I'm Moses, but I'm saying, yes, in fact, there would be those of us in the last days that would understand this magic that they have projected upon us through their crystal balls. And that, in fact, there would be some of us who would be able to decode that and fight against it. To give hope to those who have been deceived. Okay? Because Satan is the ruler of this world. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you, you guys. I know it's a lot to take in. Phosphorus. Crystal balls. Light. Science. Fiber optics. But I believe that this is truth. Take care and be safe, you guys.